Hello, this is Mr. Chabry. Last time we finished up the lighthouse. Um, this time we're actually going to sell towards Cyanwood, but first, there's a little thing up here that we can check out. Um, I thought it'd be pretty cool to look at. I think it's this house. Uh, yeah, so if you talk to, I think it's this girl. You don't have a sill case? I was going to give you sills. Okay, so... You gotta have a sill case first. Anyway, if you get a sill case, I don't remember where you find a sill case. Okay, that's that's something that's not needed. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys where you would find seals. Um, I feel like now that I've brought it up, I need to find the sill case. I forgot that you have to have an item to get the items. Well, what seals are? Um, basically, little animations that you can attach. To your um, Pokeball. You actually get that from the Moo Moo farm. Okay. So that's what you get for healing up the mill tank at the Moo Moo farm. So if you do that, then you can go back and get some seals. And they're just little animations that play when you toss out a Pokemon. And they kind of get annoying if, if you want to put Pokemon up because you have to take the seals off before you put them up, which is kind of, you know. A pain. But other than that, you know, they are pretty cool. Um, I'm going to try to catch my next Pokemon first before we battle any of these people. Just because uh, the Pokemon I have in mind will actually be really, really good against a lot of these trainers. Oh, we gotta battle this girl. Okay. That's okay. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and battle her. I really wanted to catch this, uh, Pokemon in question. Now, she's got a, a, just a Staryu. Um, not too worried about Staryu. I've got things that could handle Staryu. Um, like, we'll go into Awfully. So, yeah, Staryu, it's pure water type. It does evolve into a water psychic. But, as a Staryu, it's just pure water. So, it shouldn't be that much of a problem. We'll just Burk Break to finish it off. Boom. It might actually live that. Alright, it'll go down. And we have defeated Swimmer Elaine. Nice, nice. Alright. Now I'm trying to... Ooh, you can grab this item real quick. A TM88 for Pluck. I could teach that to Zephyr, but there's another flying type move that we'll have to get soon. I'm just not going to worry about Pluck. And, of course, there's going to be a lot of wild Pokemon here. That's the meme. There's tentacles and tentacruels everywhere. That's like a commonality with different generations. <clears throat> Let me try to get down here. We're almost there. All right, here we go. So what we're wanting to do is use our good rod... The one that we just got, yeah. <clears throat> now we want to fish right here. And this goes into our question of the day. Tell me a fishing story. Tell me like a story of you going fishing that you remember. Uh, when I was younger, my grandfather, okay, this is a shelter. That's not what I want. Uh, my grandfather would take me fishing and we caught like a bucket of fish. Um, that's my fishing story. I could tell you another story that's not like a story that happened to me. But it's like a little a little tell that has fishing in it. I, I could tell that. I don't know how long you guys want to hear it. Oh my gosh, not even a nibble. Um, yeah, it's not Shelter that I want. But I mean, Shelter evolves into Cloyster, who's actually a decent Pokemon. Um, it is a water ice type, and it's got really good defense. Cloyster is like a really, really defensive Pokemon. Oh, Magikarp, are you still here? You could catch a Magikarp that's like ready to evolve, at least. Um, <clears throat> though my story, um, this is like a little... Tell, I actually saw this on some other uh, YouTube channel where it's like, people talking about like 
little fables and tales. All right, and so the story goes, um, there was this kid that lived with his grandfather. And the grand, so the kid was the, they love playing hide and seek together. Uh, the kid was the best hider. You could hide from anyone. But the thing was, the grandfather was the best finder. No matter where that kid hid, the grandfather would always find him. So, one day, they were sitting, eating breakfast, and the grandfather was like, Hey, we should go fishing. Uh, and the kid's excited, you know, he wants to go fishing. Man, still magic Magikarp. This thing's hard to find. Let me look at the percentage that it's got. It's got like a 20% chance, which I, I mean, isn't that bad of a chance. So yeah, the grandfather was like, let's go fishing. The kid's excited. And the grandfather is like, but first, I need to finish reading my newspaper. And the kid knew that. <clears throat> when the grandfather wanted to read a newspaper, it usually took a long time. So the kid was like, you know what? While he's reading that, I'm going to hide from him. I'm going to hide from my grandfather. So he went outside. He was looking for a good spot to hide. And he, on the ground, he found a little peanut. Um, he was like, you know what? I'm going to hide in this peanut. Uh, so he did. Don't ask me how he did it. He did. He, he somehow got himself down into that little peanut. Uh, so while he was in that peanut, this chicken was walking by. And this was a hungry chicken. Uh, the chicken, you know, was pecking around looking for food. It was pecking here, pecking there. And eventually it came up on the peanut, and it ate that peanut. I reeled it in too quick. Oh my gosh. Um, so now the kid was in the peanut, in the chicken. Uh, the chicken was wandering around, you know, and it wandered into the forest where a fox saw it. Well, the fox was hungry, so the fox came up and ate that chicken. There it is, the Chin Chow. This is what I've been wanting. This is the Pokemon I have been looking for. I mean, I'll still tell the story while I'm catching this thing. Because <clears throat> I've already... Put this much time into it might as well get to the end of the story so now the kid was in the peanut in the chicken in the fox well the fox was you know content it was full um and it decided to go to sleep so the fox wandered off and fell asleep where a wolf came by and saw the saw the fox um you know i just sent awfully out to take hits and that wolf was hungry, so he ate that fox. So now the kid was in the peanut, in the chicken, in the fox, in the wolf. Well, the wolf was thirsty, you know, it just ate a whole fox. Um, I've got five Pokeballs to catch this thing with. So the wolf went over to the stream, to the river, and it knelt down into the water and get some to get uh, to start drinking. And this big fish saw the wolf and was hungry, so it came up and ate the wolf. I'm gonna just rock smash. Please don't kill. Please don't kill. <sighs> okay. Back to my story. No, Beverly, I don't care about your snubble. So now the kid was in the peanut, in the chicken, in the fox, in the wolf, in the fish. Did I get to the fish part? I was just so distraught by Chin Chow. Um, so yeah, the fish, a big fish saw the wolf, ate the fi ate the fox. Um, so now the grandfather, who just finished reading a newspaper, he like put down the newspaper. He's like, "All right, let's go fish." Oh, he's hiding. He, he immediately knew that the grandson was hiding. So he went outside. He was like, where could that grandson be? Is he behind the bush? No. Is he in the shed? No. Well, I'll find him. So the grandfather went to the river. He, like, cast the... Cast the... Uh, the, the, the lure into the river. And he ended up... Getting it hooked on something big. 
he like, you know, was fighting this thing, trying to get it up. And he eventually was able uh, to get this huge fish up out of the water. And he was looking at the fish, he was like, what would a fish have to eat to get this big? He was so curious that he like opened up the fish's mouth. And then saw, inside he saw a wolf. Um, so he was like, how'd you get in here, wolf? And the wolf was like, uh -huh. Wolf didn't know what was happening. So the guy was like, you know what? I'll let you out. So he like pulled the wolf out of the fish and threw the fish back into the water. Um, and just do that. We'll just do that so I don't have to go back. Gosh. This is annoying. Um, you know, he's like, you know, I never thought I'd see a wolf eaten by a fish. I wonder what this wolf has eaten. So he opens up the wolf's mouth and see, sees a fox in there. All right, I'm gonna do this right. I'm gonna do this right. Um, and he decided, you know, I'm gonna let this fox out. So he does, he lets the fox out. I'm gonna send out Zuko and go for embers instead, you know. Something safer. So yeah, he lets the fox go. No, he, he lets the wolf go, but he's holding the fox. And he's like, I wonder what this fox has eaten. I'm already on a roll, let's open it up. Uh, he sees the chicken. So he pulls the chicken out, lets the fox go. He's like, you know, I wonder what this chicken is eating. So he opened it up. There's a peanut there. He pulls out the peanut and lets the chicken go. He's looking at the peanut and he's like, you know, I have been pretty hungry. I'm going to eat this peanut. But right before he does, he's like, you know, I've seen some crazy things today. Uh, I've seen, you know, a fish eat a wolf. Uh, the wolf had a fox. The fox had a chicken and the chicken had this peanut. I wonder what's inside this peanut. Uh, so he opens up the peanut and the grandson falls out. And the grandson's like, you found me. And the grandfather's like, of course I did. I'm the best finder. That's my other fishing story. Um, I usually don't go on like long rants like that or long, you know, tells like that. But, you know, we were here fishing. I could make a whole episode just out of the fishing, you know. Um, but what should we name this Chin Chow? You know, I was like so worried about catching it. I didn't think about what I would name it. I could name it Ariel, but I've already named stuff Ariel before. Um, I'm going to name it uh, Seeker. How about that? As a way that you see this, you know that I told the story of the world's greatest finder as I caught it, you know. Anyway, we finally got... This is our last Pokemon that's going to be on our team. Uh, we're going to put Surf's Up up and get Seeker. And I could actually use a Repel. Actually, yeah, I'm going to use a Repel. No, I said a Repel. What are you doing? What are you doing, 3DS? Um... So I can get out of this water, because, geez Louise, everything wants to attack me. I'll just put Zuko up front, because it's at a higher level. But yeah, uh, that took a lot longer than what I was hoping. Are you telling me there's, like, Pokemon higher than level 25 here? Oh, they are at level 25. Uh, I do feel like, you know, the, the surfing, there's, like, a higher chance of getting encounters while surfing. We already battled her. There we go. But yeah, if you got, do you guys like that story? Let me know in the comments. Tell me your fishing story. <clears throat> it doesn't have to be as long as that one. That's just one that I saw and I really, really liked that story because it was so, you know, interesting. Oh, this thing has a deep sea scale too. It has Volt Absorb. I know I can get Water Absorb or Volt Absorb. I think Water Absorb is actually a hidden ability. So I can't get it in this one. Yeah, Deep Sea Scale. That's interesting. Okay. We're going to exit. Now that we have a full team. I'm going to heal up. And we're going to actually surf. Surf to Cyanwood. Normally, what I would do 
in an episode where I'm trying to catch something is I would just pause the recording while I was trying to get the encounter, but you know, I had a story to tell. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and teach it Surf. That's actually one of the best water type moves. Yeah, that's really the best water type move. Get rid of that water gun. Get rid of Flail, honestly. Um, I would like to teach it something other than Sir or uh, Spark. Spark's a physical move. Um, actually, what? Let me. I know I've already looked at it, but let me grab this item. Wait, can I give you a good item? What items do I even have? Miracle Seed, no. I had a Mystic Water. Guess I don't. Okay. Anyway, I want to take the item from you. Deep Sea Skill. I think that's just for evolution. And we're going to check your summary. See what uh, nature you've got. You got Careful. L Ooh, that lowers special attack. Gross. That is gross, man. That's the worst. That's like one of the worst natures for you. Anyway, um, well, in this episode here, it took a little bit longer than I thought it would to catch this thing, but I had a story to tell. Anyway, if you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I will see you in the next Pokemon video.